let's take a look at the tesla app inside of your operating system here on a phone you can just open the tesla app and this is what it looks like you can see here we've got the model 3 you can see the range we've got 215 miles left at the very top there you can see that it is parked we can go ahead and um, play around with the controls that we have on the tesla first up is the lock control we can press that and lock the car we can go over here we can see the climate is on we can turn that off We've got charging stats right there. And then we've got the frunk, which we can open up just like that. We can scroll down here. We can see um, our music controls. They've got an option to refer and earn. We've got live camera mode sensory enabled. Next up is controls. You can come in here, you can flash the lights, you can honk, honk the horn, you can start the car, or you can vent it. You can see that the front is open. You can open the trunk and you can unlock it just like that. So you've got various options to control the car. Really cool that you can come in here and do that from the control. You can also on the top right, you can adjust the, the PSI and see what the PSI is on all four tires. Recommended cold pressure at 45 PSI. So really cool options that we got there under controls. Next up is climate. So climate can be adjusted anywhere in the world. You know, if you're inside your house and you want to turn on your seat warmer, you just go under climate and you turn on the heat. You can adjust the heat levels between one, two, and three. You can turn them on for the back car, the back passenger seats. And, you know, you just tap in order to adjust the climate. So that allows you to turn on the heat, the heated seats just like that. You can come in here, you can see that the exterior is 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the exterior is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. You can come in here, you can turn on climate and climate turns on just like that. And you can adjust it right from your phone. So if you're in the house and you wanna warm up the car, you can do that. You can warm it all the way up to 80 and um, you can vent the doors just like that. And it opens the windows just like that with the vent we can close the vents so if it's a hot day and you want to vent the car you can just press that button and the cars will vent automatically just like that so really cool options you can defrost the car you can turn on camp mode you can turn on dog mode um, you can turn on cabin overheat protection so it won't overheat it and you've got approximate activation temperatures right there so really cool options that we have right here inside of the tesla climate controls that you can modify this is perfect for when you are in the house and you want to warm up the car you want to cool it down you just press um, on the climate connections and you can go ahead and set your current um, you know climate recommendations and it will do that wirelessly from your phone so really cool options that we've got right there inside of the climate control Want a bite-sized version of technology news? Try TLDR's free daily newsletter. TLDR covers the most interesting technology, science, and coding in just five minutes. Subscribe using the link in the description completely for free. You can tap on location and see exactly where your car is. You can see nearby chargers. You can see, you can navigate to any of those. If we want to navigate to a nearby charger, we just press the navigate button. It lets us know the busiest times. Zero stalls are out, of, out and available and which ones are out of order. You can see photos for it and more. So really cool options that we have right here inside the app to check that out under location. Next up is summon. This allows us to move um, our car around. And, um, you know, if you want to summon your car in a parking lot, um, you can use the summon feature. You're parked seven feet away and it will drive itself to you and it will go to the target that you look for. So really cool options that we have there. Next up is schedule. You can head over to the schedule option to go ahead and schedule a departure, a precondition or an off peak charge. And you have various options here for scheduling. You can go over if you plug up your car, you can schedule it to charge at a certain time rather than it always charging at night. And then same with a departure. You can set a precondition, set climate and preheat battery. Um, you can tell it at what time that you do it each week and then it will automatically go ahead and do those things for you. So really cool options that you have right here inside of the Tesla app. Really cool options that you have right here inside the Tesla app to go ahead and schedule some settings to happen automatically. Next up is security and drivers. So here is where you can turn on sens sensory mode where you can view the live camera when you're outside the car and it will protect and record any things that happen. 
You can turn on valet mode, limit access to the vehicle. You can turn on a speed limit mode, so it will limit the top speed. You can require a pin to drive the vehicle. You can manage drivers and add additional people. They can download the Tesla app, sign in, and then you can invite them to manage your car. You've got the phone key, which automatically unlocks and starts with the mobile device when it is near. And you have access to um, adding a key card, setting up Bluetooth audio and more right here under security and drivers. So really cool options that we have there. So I'll go ahead and zoom out and we'll go back to our main screen here. Next up, we can see upgrades and charge stats. Let's tap on charge stats. We can see over the last few days, the last 31 days, I spent $154 on charging the car. You can see it's been 100% at a supercharger and it saved me about $13 in gas. So you can see all of the details there for this month over the last 31 days of charging at a supercharger. And of course, if you charge at home, work or other, it'll show up there and you can have all the various details to that. So that's charge stats in the app. Let's go back. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. Next up is upgrades. You can see that you have software upgrades, extended service agreement, and accessories. We previously went into accessories to get our additional key cards, but you can come here for software upgrades. You can buy the full self-driving for $6,000 and more. And then you can come here for the extended service agreement and accessories and manage upgrades right here. So you can see the premium connectivity expires on March 5th, and we can go ahead and subscribe to that. That's our 30 days free, and we've got enhanced autopilot and rear heated seats included. So various different options right here. We can limit in-car purchases, and um, you can see what's inactive on our car. So we don't have any inactive upgrades, and we are good to go. So let's go back to our settings here. We can go back and see what else we have. We've gone over upgrades. Next is safety score. If you have Tesla insurance in some states, your safety score can help out with your insurance premiums. You can tap on this and see what your safety score is and see things that you can improve upon. Your driving behavior like forward collision warnings, hard braking, excessive turning, unsafe following, excessive speeding, late night driving, forced autopilot disengagements, and unbuckled driving. So you got various different options here. Monitors your safety. You can tap on it and see the various different things that you do when you drive your car inside of the Tesla. So really cool option that we've got right here under the safety score. And then the last two options are service and roadside. So this is very helpful if you wanna get your car serviced. You can request a tech to come out and visit you. You can just request service, say what's wrong, what's not working, what needs to be fixed. And you can go ahead and schedule that out and they'll come out and help with you. So really cool that the Tesla has that kind of service. And the last side is roadside. If you get stuck on the road, you can come over and say why you're stuck. You get a flat tire, drivability concern, charging or other. And you can go ahead and send this request in and get immediate roadside assistance um, and select your car condition and let them know where you need help at. So really cool options that we've got there for roadside right here inside of our app. So this has been an overview of the Tesla app for our Model 3. You can download the application in the App Store or on, on your Play Store. You download the Tesla app. It looks like this. You just download the Tesla app. You pair your car. You sign in with the Tesla account and you are good to go. So really cool features. We've gone over things like our controls, our climate, using the app to open doors and um, you know the trunk, the front and um, additional things like the charging port. We've gone over supercharging in the application and all the various different details that you can use this mobile application for when you are using your Tesla. Want to promote your business in front of tech enthusiasts? You can sponsor AppFind to get a shout out on a video or even your own dedicated video. To learn more, see our rate card and request a sponsorship. You can click our link in the description to Passion Fruit to learn more and inquire about a sponsorship. 
So this has been a complete beginner's guide of the Tesla Model 3 2020. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let us know what your favorite feature of the Tesla Model 3 is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these technology videos for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.